Hey everybody, Jochen here, and today I am showing you how to change your very dull online list of users in your channel to something a little bit more themed and structured. As you can see over here, I've got the candidates, recruits, squaddies, rangers, spec ops, and I'm going to do the same for Jochen's domain over here. So if, if that's something that you're after, please stick around, it'll only take five minutes and you'll be able to do, implement this in your own channel. If you do want to join and chat about this, please join my Discord channels. I've got two of them. The Jokens Domain channel is where I follow along with all my audio and video content. And the Game On is where we all just get together and play games together. And please come along. Okay, so in order to get the roles added, first thing we're going to do is go to Server Settings. Click on your roles and then add all the roles you want. Now, these grayed out ones over here is what I've set up with my Dinobot, but I want to restructure this a little bit. So let's uh, bring a theme in. So what you want to do is just click on add a new role, add the name for the role, squires, select a color which you would like, and then get to the setting of all of these roles. I'm going to expand a little bit more on that and I'm going to cut it so that you just see the end result. And we have got a structured role list at the moment and I'm just enabling all the display role members separately so we can actually see them in separate categories on our channel list. Now you will see that I have actually gone through my entire server. I've added some themes to it and in every single section over here I've gone into the edit category and I made sure that every single permission has been set up the way that I wanted it. So Magi can't manage messages but they can essentially do everything else. Dwellers can have a little bit less stuff and peasants on the other hand can pretty much do nothing at all. So that's all set up and now what I want to show you is that in the, in the about and the welcome this is where my invites drop into and you'll see there's a stealthy raptor over there now that is my other account and as soon as I add Stealthy Raptor, if we look at the announcements or general over here, Stealthy Raptor is not listed over here at all. He does not have access to see anything other than the about and the welcome. Now, as soon as he goes and welcomes or introduces himself over here, what I will do is right click and say, oh, okay, you're now a dweller. And as soon as they're a dweller, then they can actually see the rest of the channel. So, so that allows me that anybody that comes into the channel gives a little bit of an introduction why they came over to my channel, which is something that I'm interested in so that I can actually get conversations going with them. And once that is done, then I open up the entire channel to them. So the similar thing happens with the Sears Tower. Now the Sears Tower is all my Patreon supporters. And I've shown over here that not everybody can connect to it. Peasants can't, dwellers and squires can't connect, but knights and magi and dragon slayers, they can actually connect to it. It's just a little bit of extra stuff. Over here, I talk about my future content, try and get some ideas from the people, and we can actually have some voice comms as well. But that's just the way that I like setting it up now. So I hope this has helped you, and if it did, please press that like and subscribe button. Come and join my Discord channels, either Jokin's Domain or Game On if you're interested in gaming. And thank you for watching. Jokin out.